Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Royal Rumble campaign. Where we're trying to, yes, beat the game on Legendary Arm and Difficulty with hardcore mods installed, double enemy squad size, yellow alert and around 100 mods that make our life a living hell. Operation Doom Mother is the second of two back-to-back -back operations. We just cleared one of the facilities with the Prime Team leaving only the C-team available currently to deal with the sector, uh, sectored abductions that happen here, quite a few sectors that we will be running into. And we need to recover an item from Advent's vehicle, so better bring um, a specialist with us. I am still torn in between what I would want to do. Um, I've brought a few options here with me. Uh, Martin Axe Axenrod uh, will join us for the first time. Giving him a mind shield is certainly a good idea. Lyrical with the re-stealth. I like that. I like that a lot. It's just a question. Do we want to give up the plus 10 aim? Where she said with the aim at the moment. Ah, that's not really great. Refrain uh, shield or mind shield against all of the sectors. I think for this mission, since it's sector deduction, let's get a mind shield. So we do have two immune characters, and Haxor has a flashbang to deal with any mind control. We got two turrets. We even got a mimic beacon. We got a lot of uh, counter play, and we got anti robotic uh, ammunition. Perch Trooper, Trooper, Perch Archbishop, Hunter Drone, Perch Commando. Oh yeah, because I was figuring it might be a Sectopod Prime that is hiding behind the very difficult mission. So let's deploy and see how well we're doing. Very good. So we landed. Nine turns to get there and get our dirty business done. I move. Let's start with Inquisitor. And first things we're seeing are super heavy turrets. Interesting. A useful aid. Let's position on the other side of the map. A couple of abductors. Good, we're positioning our, ourselves theoretically in a way that Understood. we Move could out. hit the turret. Okay, is there any t uh, tower that we can hack? Not in direct reach. And I don't want to wait a long time before engaging because this is one of the maps where you might be tempted to just stroll along, try to get the vehicle and all of a sudden you pull three or four packs. What we're going to do is straightforward. We're going to engage. And that'll be it. Apparently, one cannot stand here. Copy that. Good, we could throw out our token, our sedative turret. Ah, the one thing that could suck is we would be able to pull the uh, the sector as well so maybe we want to do that next turn in which case uh, this turn will be all about uh, getting closer which is fine as well it's not wasted if we're double moving fair enough then we do have all of the actions available next turn and we were moving the entire time. Okay. 
Okay, listen, we want to get closer to the tower and we also want to get a bit more into this direction. What's our chance to hack the tower? Fifty fifty. That's what I would say, not too bad. Let's give an aid protocol to Lyrical in advance. That's also coming with threat assessment. Then afterwards, we're trying to hack the turret. If it doesn't work out, we're still going to be fine. It's not a loss. Yeah, it's okay. It is okay. Failed hacks are part of the game. And I'm lucky uh, often enough, so this is really not an issue. The reason why I did it right away was basically to have enough actions left over. Could move to here, but that would be pretty dangerous. X moves here. Oh boy, that's a lot of damage. <laughs> Hell yeah. Good easy peasy. Getting that kill done. Marking the flanked sector. That did not fully work out, in which case... Let's use a combat presence. <clears throat> That's exactly why we have the skill. Run and gun. X and road uh, moves forward. And we're trying that again. <clears throat> Fantastic. Hayward moves up. And just for good measure, let's deploy our turret. All right, well, one down. Few more to go. This guy is in full cover. We don't know what's um, what's to be expected over there. So what I will do is I'll just keep it safe and sound. Moving over here. Still have an overwatch uh, left over. And he might simply run away. Well, that did not surprise me. The typical behavior after they are being spotted out.
And that explosion most certainly will trigger someone. Core question. So, first and foremost, we're going to pull cover a bit closer. That definitely would be a great uh, addition. I think we're going to do exactly that. moves up and the one thing that I'm seeing here is a lot of cover now that would destroy our own cover I'll be a bit mindful here Excellent road. Unfortunately, the explosion hasn't destroyed that extra bit of cover. <coughs> Tries to. Uh, we're trying to go for the highest hit point shots, more or less. Uh, my the highest percent shots. The turret can also remove cover if needed. I mean, look, <clears throat> that's almost an invitation to kill the sector. Might pull something else. But we're good. Now, since we are on a roll with Lyrical, extra action into shotgun. That <sighs> was. Unfortunate, so unfortunate. Bringing forward our MK2 turret. Just to pull a super heavy turret from their side. Interesting. Good, time to get that trooper out of cover. Nice little slash. Well, that to a degree shows the inexperience of the team. There is always the chance for a few misses, shots that, that were like under the guise of uh, flanking shots were only hitting with 70%. Luckily he's going for the turret.
And luckily for us, these turrets can be healed. Good, so let's start with the turret again. Removing Overwatch, at least trying to do that. There we go, Overwatch gone. Lyrical moves up 100%. Nice little shotgun to the face. Moving further in, Hexor prepares and sets up the turret. Well, he doesn't prepare it, he just literally destroys it. Good, we're being careful not to move uh, too far. Inquisitor. Free grappling hook to scout out that everything's okay. We got the mimic beacon in case it is not. And to be honest, I would keep things here for now. Good, some fast play, fast action XCOM. Down to six rounds. And a few more sectors have found their way to us. Hello there. Nice little sector abductor. The one person that did not have a mind shield. Well, thank you. All right. Thankfully, we have a bit of counterplay, so revival protocol it is. Just getting back into the combat. X moves up. Planks that sectored. Anyone want a souvenir? I need ammo. That's a kill. The the zombies with the uh, with the abductor will not die once uh, you kill the abductor. So. Might as well remove them as easy targets for now. Lyrical reloads and... Let's see. Unfortunately, he's standing in the open, but... The sector is heavily injured so that's a plus we should be fine we also got a mimic beacon so i'm not sweating Exo takes a more prominent position. Keep in mind we got that Mimic Beacon. Nice, finally an Alarium Core. Alright, moving up, moving up. 
and mimic beacon down there. So far, so good. Couple more abductors. Maybe the mission is not very difficult. Maybe that mission actually was very much doable. Okay, fantastic. So, how do we get that drone? I can tell you how we do. Oh, nice. With all of the weapon upgrades, look at that. I mean, look at that. 10 to 13 points on a pistol uh, shot. Two breakthroughs and uh, blue screen rounds. Fantastic. I could have moved up and potentially used um, a face-off. Alright, so Lyrical. Runs and hopefully guns. This should not trigger another pack unless I've missed something. Very nice. It's a good hit. By the way, does our turret still have line of sight? No. No, no, no. We're too far away. Let's get this show on the road. Moving up. Run and gun. Reload. And... Try to remove the cover. Didn't work. Did not have a grenade either, but I think we have one. Nah, we just have a flashbang left over. Uh, I guess that'll be okay. All right. Well, I'm not going to say no to a hair trigger. Unfortunately, that did not work out. Selected turret is moving up. And Shinrod is basically just running in. I tell you what, um, here I come. moving over to here, pistol shot should finish him and the perch commando should also take some damage. Uh, not a great chance, but still better than nothing. You want some more? All right, good. We're fine so far. Surprisingly easy mission, actually. Surprisingly easy mission so far. And not to sound cocky, but it's actually uh, a treat to fight against normal enemies for once. Using our turret there, that was fine. It's kind of a moving mimic beacon. I put value into them in terms of they can add a couple of extra shots, but I wouldn't completely depend on them. Oh, look at you. Well, that is great. I think there's another pack back here, by the way. 
reloading and just taking that fantastic shot. Oh yeah, easy. See, that's what you get when you're not in cover. Half cover isn't great. Specifically, taking cover at the car is not one of my favorite uh, bedtime activities. Good. He looks heavily injured. Just like uh, we like it. Oh, come on. Oh yeah, we gotta do better. That just hits the nail on the head. Inquisitor carefully moves forward. And acts like a true Inquisitor. Shinrod ready to hack that terminal next turn. Covering fire. Advent force is sighted. <sighs> Talking about easy units, right? Well, that is over for now. Oh, Archbishops can just run through the wall. Okay, good. Yeah, well, sure. I suppose, why not, right? I do have an idea, I'm not sure if it works, but if it works, it's great. It is an advent unit. We could pull it out of full cover. Oh, hell yeah, that was great. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, well, the damage is not so good, but the rest actually works out well. Let's not stand in a in a circle to allow him to use his AOE attack. Yeah, moving over here. I think he will be completely immune to any form of flashbangs. This might sting. Good in terms of eight protocol. I want another shredding shot, so Hexor gets the A protocol has the best chance of hitting him. We're taking high ground with Lyrico. Wow. It's crazy if you think about just how little damage everything deals to him. Might as well use the pistols. points of damage better than nothing I would say we would have an automatic hit with retribution but what I'm fearing is that this guy uh, what I'm fearing is that that guy would just react to that And cause damage. He seems to have a damage reflection. Wow. Luckily, we do have a mind shield. Luckily, we do have a mind shield uh, here. Menace 
615, this is Avenger. We have positive confirmation of the target package. Move to acquire. Aye, aye. All right. Got to hack the chest. That's priority. Look at that. A hundred percent enemy protocol. That's actually a problem. I'm ready. Reloading. Let's get this guy shredded. <laughs> Enemy is still up. We need to get him further shredded, and Hexer is our best bet. Should have taken high ground. Hard target, minimal damage. Critical hit for two. It's when you know that things are not working out uh, well in your favor. Nope, that didn't work out uh, well either. Critical hit for a whooping one. Can we move out of his line of sight? Cannot, since we're burning. Might as well hunker down here. Turret unfortunately can't hit him. What exactly is he doing? He's still burning. And what's this debuff? Wait a second. Penalties. Hold still. Shinrod. Tries to heal Axe. Continues to heal Axe. Okay, so we're out of healing. Uh, ah, I see. Okay, so we can't move with both of them. I totally love uh, the idea of that plasma resistance it is so much fun to fight against an enemy that you can only hit for two or three yep critical for two oh wow we're hitting it critically uh, critically for three not trying to be a negative Nancy here or anything, but not a hundred percent sure if the idea of uh, this plasma resistance is really balanced. If I go in into melee. He returns six points of damage every single time. Step 
So that's not an option either. Which kind of begs the question, what what's really the counterplay against the, uh, these bishops? I mean, look at that. We do have dead eye. There is a chance for a crit here. Might as well use the normal shot. F it. Mm. Okay. Well, now we've ex uh, successfully uh, exploded the car. We're going to take some extra damage on our skirmisher. Thankfully. It's a good old friendly fire which is happening from time to time. And by by saying it is happening, it really shouldn't happen. But yeah. It was a happy accident. That's our first shot. Tell me something. This here deals way more damage. Might as well use it. He's disoriented. And we're taking the good old scorching touch. Okay, cool. So are you telling me that he's still resistant? Yeah. Well. But at least we know that normal firing will deal damage. Wow, this guy is just a menace to uh, to society. Completely difficult to deal with. Still has slow cover. Oh, I see. Because of uh, because of lyrical. Well, that's our own problem. Could have done that a bit better. Can't blame the engine for that. Oh, nice little crit. Is it really happening? Of course not. But we could get to here, flank him. <laughs> Where is the stock when you need one? I think Hayward had the best, ah, potentially wrong. I think the best chance of hitting him was our skirmisher. Okay, sure. We're not making the mistake of moving away. Instead, what we're doing is we're just killing this idiot. If we had moved away, he would have gotten his reaction shot. X is hunkering down. I think we can end the turn. Status confirmed. All hostiles are down and the area is secure. Look, overall, it was much easier than I anticipated. I don't know why it, uh, why it said very difficult. Um, I think the game has a hard time to understand that sectors aren't the most difficult encounters at that point, but I'm, I'm okay. Cool. Gratis mission for us. Good. So, let's see. Did we get a big fat promotion? We would have deserved one after that performance. Oh, nice. Shinrod. Yeah, we're going to go with Guardian here. Shinrod nicely made it to uh, Major. Think about it, how long and tedious this campaign uh, was. Even Hewar and Shinrod, who used to be the uh, Tier 3 team, still are making it up the rings. I like it. 
encountered Filio Crito, that is good as well. And I think I'm going to invest one of these Alarium cores into more heavy weaponry. Can we get another war suit? Oh no, we wanted to do um, Icarus armor. Yeah, we're going to go with that. But we need more resources. Okay, assorted loot looks good. We wanted a bit more. Uh, Intel is fine. Did I? No, we didn't yet want to go here in order to make contact. Maybe we're building another radio station and then. But what is it good for? We need more contacts to begin with, and currently we can't afford to do that. So might as well stay where we are and have the option to expand in case we're losing any more territory. Looks like a stalemate for now. And I think we're definitely going for that extra loot. Once our prime team is ready, we will be engaging in another uh, facility. Good, so we killed all of the Chosens, it's fine. Thunder Mountain 2 out of 3 is a problem, and I will reveal all of the other ones. The game definitely wants Fado Crito. See, that's one of those bullshit maneuvers of XCOM, right? Uh, you counter something and then, yeah, surprisingly it comes up again. Resource rewards on missions, 15%. All intel rewards. Get an extra resists contact. Two would be fine, one is not really cutting it. That's good, that's good. That is good. Yeah, I think we're fine with the rest. Okay, very good. Um, let's start with the black market. See what we've got. Maybe there is something that we would want to purchase. Superior perception looks tempting. For starters, we want to purchase what we need. I think we're fine on the perception at this point. We have enough. I'll keep the AD Intel just in case we want to expand. And I would use some of the material to get to that Icarus armor. We're really needing alloys and uh, Elarium. Typically that late in the game you can uh, get scans for alloys and Elarium. Okay, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. I think many of our soldiers have recovered. Six more days for sonar. Okay, so that's almost done. In six days, the prime team is ready again. And in six days, we're wrecking the raiders. What else do we have here? 14 in ability points. That would be good for Hogbite. This here is fantastic. We're definitely getting that. Panic, Obsession, Berserk, only last one turn. That's great. Uh, that is really, really good. Uh, locate Raiders, I think. I think we've killed them already. Not 100% sure. 
Destroy Raiders HQ. Okay, I see. We're currently destroying it. That means this will be nullified. Unless it's a different faction. This is tempting, but at the same time, not sure. I don't want to do missions just for the purpose of missions. We have many, many episodes in this run and I'm more trying to finish things up at the moment. So overall, I, it's fine. It doesn't seem like we can get the uh, Dark Elders yet, which is a bit of a shame. Operational objectives, Commander. Good, let's do the encryption. We're doing fine uh, so far. I think with the encryption of the data, we will get. Uh, oh, yeah, well. The there we go, only 33, maybe. Well. Going to show us how to get into the alien you know, maybe the Prime team could do that next. Driftkeeper Mark II. Oh, yeah. There's always this one enemy where I'm already not very tempted to uh, to fight against them. Okay, we've perched everything here and our last soldier might become a new specialist. Thank you. All right, wait a second, we had a new specialist. Down here with Bastard. He was the poor soul, but only was uh, a squaddy. Well, it's not great, but I guess someone has, uh, everybody has to start somewhere. So Shinrod soon is going to uh, get out of uh, the low level, uh, which only leaves Jerangs really. Confirming another bond. Great. So that seems okay to me. Question is, I mean, we do have a specialist. We do have one sharpshooter. We have another sharpshooter here. That seems okay-ish. Having that extra specialist isn't too bad. We're typically not going on to a mission with two sharpshooters. Very good. Uh, let's continue with insanity training. Yep. More negative traits are removed. Okay, so the idea now is number one, we're going to go in do the Golden Path uh, mission. That'll be with a prime team. Two more days and or uh, one more day and we're going to be fine. Okay, cool. We're potentially take the Reaper uh, with us instead of uh, that uh, second Psy operative. In terms of next covert action, we're going Metal Fortitude first and then Bond level increase for Hogby. That sounds like a plan as well. And the Wrecking Raiders will be triggering another another mission as well. There is more loot. I want to destroy that Dark Elder web gateway. Having a final mission against them would be incredibly satisfying. 52 bandit skirmishers. And then there are D Dark Elder Raiders. Okay. Well, that's the next mission, and afterwards we're doing uh, we're doing our nice little uh, golden path mission. So we're plenty busy this month. I want to at least fight against one more um, 
alien ruler so uh, that'll be the second uh, target for the month uh, so that we can get all of uh, the alien rulers and yeah hopefully at least from my standpoint we would have oh no we have one we have two more facilities so it's overall two more um, alien rulers maybe i can get the dark elders out of uh, the way uh, it's two more golden path missions um, that we need to do um, both with like 30 to 50 enemies so that's not going to be uh, walk in the park either the uh, two alien uh, rulers at least and then i think we're pretty much done we're, we're then going uh, towards uh, water world Cool. Guys, thank you so much. If uh, you enjoy the bandits, then try to be a bandit as well. And on your way out, uh, try to steal a like from this video by clicking that like button. And uh, see you on the next episode, really. Bye-bye.